Hi everybody, it's Deb from D&D Art Gallery. Today I have a little 8x8 eight eight inch canvas and I am putting down my base coat of Artist Loft Flow Acrylic White. There is a little cup that I purchased from Tracy Reed Designs, or I, I did receive it from her, and I will have all her information in the description. And I'm laying my paints down now, and that first one is King Art Pearl Black. The second one is the combination of Artist Quest Dark Violet and Color Shift. Plum Black. My third color is the DecoArt Extreme Sheen Berry. This color is a very pretty uh, King Art Delicate Rose. The next color I'm using is the King Art Cerulean Blue. And that last color I'm using is King Art Prussian Blue. All my paints today are mixed with the mix, and I am adding a little bit of the white base coat there in my flower. Seven parts of the mix to one part paint is my pouring medium today. And here I'm just doing a second layer, starting out with that uh, pearl black, and then the deco art berry, and the delicate rose. And here I'm just adding some of my base coat to help that paint flow when I do uh, start to uh, spin this painting out. Just spreading that out. A lot of artists call that the flow extender. Also my base coat was mixed seven parts of the mix with one part paint. I did add a little bit of water to some of my paints, but they are on the thicker side. Not thin like a Dutch pour, but more about medium of uh, viscosity. Here I'm just removing that little cup. And I do play around with that center a little bit. Just trying to make it look a little bit better. Drawing out some lines. My flower is off center, but I really do like that. Not everything has to be just symmetrical. And you'll see the end result that it being off center really does add to this painting. Just still drawing some more lines here. Just more interest for the eye. The color shift paint that I did use before, I misspoke. That was the color shift plum flash. And I did have that mixed with the uh, US Art Quest Perfect Pigment Dark Violet. I will list all my paints in the description. Just giving it a quick torch to get rid of any air bubbles here. And adding more paint along the edge there. Just make sure everything is covered. Okay, just giving it a spin here. And I spin it in the opposite direction. And actually, I'm pretty happy with the composition here. I do pull it out a little bit, as you see. I'm just really happy with it, just like that. Just covering the edges here in the corners.
taking a look at the composition here and I'm really not that happy with the center. I think it looks a little bit muddy. So what I did is I just took some paper towel and I'm pulling up some of that paint. You can see that little spot I left there. And now I'm adding the Prussian blue, the cerulean blue, and some of that delicate rose in the middle. And I just take my skewer and I just twirl it around in there a little bit. And I'm much more happy with that center now. Let's get you down for a close-up. Okay, everybody, here we are for our close-up, and I'm showing you the whole painting. Again, this is an 8x8 eight eight inch canvas, and I just did um, a little flower pour here with a little um, cup that I received from uh, Tracy Reed Designs. Thank you so much, Tracy, and I will put her... Um, her uh, information in the description. So this is the upper left-hand corner. Just going down the left-hand side here. These colors did turn out so very pretty. In the middle. And just over to the right side here. Just spun it out a little bit. Very simple painting to do. So I hope you like this little video. Give me a thumbs up if you do and share it. Make sure you ring the bell and choose all so you know the next time I do post a new video. Subscribe if you haven't to help my channel grow. I truly appreciate it. Thank you for spending time with me today. And until next time, take care everybody. Bye for now.